impact of lines in photography. And then we come to curved lines. So curved lines are, can be created from arches, rounded rocks, curved seashores, bent trees, meandering rivers, winding roads, ripples in a pond, architectural features, and whatnot. Um, so there are a variety of different types of curves found in our natural and built environments. These include C curves, arches, S curves, circles, and implied curves. Um, each type of curve has a unique effect on the direction you intend to imply on the image. Curves make an image easy to look at by slowly drawing the viewer's eye through the frame and in a sense takes the viewer by the hand and draws them into the scene and points the way. Curved lines are graceful, rhythmic, and relaxing, and they suggest digression, slowing down, quietness, and restraint. So be sure to choose carefully where you want the eye to enter the frame and where it's destined to go from there. Um, curved lines work well with either symmetrical composition or the rule of thirds for an effective and dynamic image. And try to keep the curve away from the edges of the frame to ensure a well-balanced image. So this one, I already broke the rule because it's kind of close to the frame, but anyway, it's in a way, um, it works. It works. <laughs> Break the rules if it works. Yes. And I created a negative space. So it looks like it's the building sort of cut out. Um, again, this is at Circus Circus. Um, so I played with the curves of the, I think it's a mon if there was a monorail or something there, or it's just the parking garage. But yeah, I don't think there's a monorail over okay. there. Okay. So I think it looks like the parking, parking. feature. Yeah. Um, but then with the curves of the architectural feature, but then it pulls you up more to vertical lines, which then pull you up to the, the end of the curve and back and around. So um, pattern, pattern. Yeah. Um, so play with it. And uh, it's kind of a different direction in terms of where it's guiding you. But the contrast, again, with the black and white. Um, this we all know, the old uh, high roller, <laughs> um, and then the monorail leading up to it. So the curve of the train with the, you know, the curve of the, the high roller, um, and then with the actual line of the um, pole, the stabilizer of the high roller kind of pulling you back up into the center. So. And that, that bottom edge um, of that support post just meeting right at the corner of the yes. frame is, was very well thought out in, in here. <laughs> and then the top <laughs> corner, it's like with the little black um, of the walkway or whatever on the yeah. side. The so everything, everything has a place and a purpose here. Yeah. Um, and some of it I was able to do in camera and some I obviously kind of adjusted cropping afterwards to really accentuate that. So you have to do that then do it did you, did you play it all with like any geometry kind of uh, adjustments in this um this one i think i straightened to make sure that you got a, you got a horizontal. Straight there and then i wanted to make sure that this was coming from yeah. the corner very much so then yeah accentuates it um and then this is just a simple curving path that kind of leads you i i liked it because it kind of leads you into the shadows in a way and into the vertical feature of the, the cacti. Um, and also they're sort of, you know, curved in their own sense as well as being vertical. Um, and I kind of thought it was kind of neat how the, the points of these cacti are guiding you as well. Um, here, just simple walkway in Vancouver, leading you to a lighthouse and then the mountains in the distance. Um, this I had fun with just a bunch of tires at, during one of the Las Vegas document classes and this one was standing up like I could have put this dead center <laughs> and play with it. I, um, uh, yeah, I, and then just, I love photographing tires, you know, it's fun. I, I act for an <laughs> upbringing of the rubber capital. Yes, of the world. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I only wish I could have gotten a little bit lower on that one, but then I probably would have been lying in a bunch of filth and I mean, you could do that too just wasn't ready to. I, I just have to say, I did have a student. His name was Joey. His name still is Joey. Oh, I yeah. He was like, he wore white one day to go out and shoot the Las Vegas document. And he always laid on the ground to make yeah. his images. 
And <laughs> at the end of the day, him. we got together to have a cup of coffee and to say, you know, goodbye to everyone. And he's covered in black gook all <laughs> over his white clothes. And he, I was always like, I still think, <laughs> why are you wearing lays white? on the ground? Why would you wear white this day? But, but that's commitment. That is commitment. Commit, <laughs> make the image. I know. I know. Just do it. <laughs> I just wasn't ready that day. Okay. <laughs> but I got low enough to yeah, try. Yes. But playing with circles within circles. And, yeah. I love it. Um, <laughs> and then the bottom left, that was just a circular window in a museum in, I think it was in Amsterdam. And I just loved the older couple kind of walking out of the frame and the angle of the whatever that is, kind of meeting them at their, their path as well. And then the good old bean, you know, how can you not? Yeah. So it's just a, a implied curve right there. It is a physical curve. <laughs> so I had fun with it. And uh, then good old circus. I, circus Circus is basically curved. So you got to do as many photos of it as possible. <laughs> but I used the curve of the actual sidewalk meeting with the curves in the architectural feature. Um, and then this one, I love the curves of the woman's body with the curves of the architectural features at Golden Gate. Um, and then the circles hanging of the speakers hanging from above and then also the curves of the, the awnings um, just all come together. I love the guy's expression too. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was again, Las Vegas document. <laughs> and then here are just simple curves or paths that you come across when I was out walking with friends here. This was in Greece, an old man. And the path itself wasn't curved, but I moved over to the side to then kind of uh, create a, a sense of a curve as he's walking around the corner. Um, and then just curves of bridges um, that I found here in um, Ontario. Uh, more bridges course and again in LA this was the building which had its own architectural curves and just sort of curved window curves of the whatever looks like the old dumbbell yeah. <laughs> um, and then the curve of the the garbage can and everything so whatever is in front of you this is looking through a sculpture the Henry Moore sculpture here um, in on in Toronto and that's at the Museum of Modern Art in Toronto um, and then this is in Greece, just, I found this amazing. I don't know what it was, but it was like all of these curves leading to the curved parking area. It was, wow. just, it was amazing and it wasn't quite finished and I had no idea what they were planning to do with it, but it was what I could see outside our uh, um, hotel window. <laughs> so I like, I have to take a photo of it. Yeah, so, I love hotels. I mean, I, I, you always have to make images out the hotel window. Of course. Like, because you see the weirdest things. <laughs> no, it's like, oh my gosh. Who yeah, I know. I love it. Um, and I always found in Europe, you know, things weren't as completed mm -hmm. as um, anything that's in North America. So sometimes they'll start work on something and then they may continue many years down the road, but there will be like, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, years. It's somewhat done. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. We'll just leave everything here. Yeah, those words I hate. Good. I know. Enough. I know. Uh. So again, you know, play with the curves that you see in front of you, and also I also liked how the it worked with the curve of the the stairwell here at the museum. And good old Guggenheim, favorite natural curves on that building. And then this was a building in Amsterdam. Um, it was uh, just had its curves as well. And then the shadow there, like, yeah, creates that's not cutting that off. Yeah. Little, you know, little details like that. It helps to, you know, move the eye, continue yeah. to move the eye. And then the curve of the windows and then back around yeah. and just a hint of the sky, which kind of, um, helps yes. mimic the shadow. Oh, look at that. 